Hey guys, what's up? Average stoner, thought I'd be checking in. Uh, there is something a little bit so majestic here. I had to make a video for you guys. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Fucking water's cold. Smoke will be a little homegrown out here in Colorado. And climbed a motherfucking mountain, dude. All the epic places is smoke a joint. On the top of a fucking mountain, man. This motherfucking mountain's about to be majestic as shit, man. You know, I bought some weed up here in Colorado, and maybe it was the wrong kind from the wrong place. But my homegrown tastes ten times better than their shit. Works better, too. I like to just wake up and take about 10 hits and get started with my day every time i eat which is every four hours apart i'll take another 10 hits i stay pretty lit all day long but about an hour and a half ago i took my 10 hits and i climbed up this motherfucking mountain what is that number seven uh, we'll count number five. I need a couple extra hits. We got up this mountain, and I was like, man, I bet them other hippies would like to see this shit. Wait until I get my ten hits here, and I'll show you. Go watch out for bears and shit, man. There might be some bears around here. Fucking have to box some bitches. Maybe I'll just want to join. Maybe I'll get that motherfucker stoned. Fucking be like Yogi Bear eating all the picnic baskets and shit. Oh boy, there's some weird sounds coming from over there. Fuck you, Yogi. Go away. I gotta move up here. Up here in Colorado, these people were legit with smoking weed before it was legal. I wake up, I smoke, 10 hits. Yeah, I couldn't smoke the whole thing, man. One joint, I am the average stoner in my eyes because one joint, if I was just by myself, at least lasts me half a day. Used to last me two, three days. All right. Check this out. I got up this morning, 
family, of course, is still in there. It's fucking sleeping and shit. I can't eat the four meals a day. I don't know why. Nobody trusts me on this. But. Check this out. On the fresh powder. Oh, man. I just climbed up this shit. All the way. All the way. From down there. No, I didn't get high before I did it. I don't remember when I got high the first time. It was on this mountain, though. No, wait. Yeah, I got high at the bottom of the mountain. And then I came to the top of the mountain, and I thought you guys might want to see it. See, so, yeah, it's a ski slope, is what it is. I went up there, and then you can't see down here because this hill right here. You get up there on that, and you can't see over this hill. So I came back down here, and this is what we got. You can go ahead and head back down. There's fucking cars and shit driving around up here. I don't know if you're allowed on these slopes when they're not open. But yeah, they got these machines, dude. That just like blow the fucking snow onto the hill here, onto the mountain. See, so yesterday I was right there in that batch of hills. That's where I was yesterday. I don't know how high the elevation is or anything like that. But look at this. Look at this beautiful shit. Oh my goodness. Eating these four meals a day really makes it easier for me to get up on time. Shit, I'm getting up before time. Shit, I don't have to get up this early. We don't have to check out until 10. So, I could have stayed at home and were at the hotel room and slept for another hour. Sorry. Being really, being really stoned and climbing down a mountain probably isn't a very good idea. So, I wouldn't try this at home. Okay. But, anyways. If... Feel like you know it. Clap your hands. Feel like you know it. Whoa! Okay, I'm just gonna put it this way. Being stoned, climbing down a hill, and shooting a video is the dumbest idea in the world. So, I'll probably get back on here like halfway down this climb so I don't fall and bust my ass and kill myself before my family gets to go home and play on their video games and all that crap. Watch their casino videos and let's just man imagine waking up every morning to this Jesus Isn't this fucking beautiful guys y'all can say I'm nuts about this routine meal plan, but I don't care what you say. I'm just documenting to January, and I'm done. None of you, if none of you other, if nobody else wants to try this and confirm that not only does it help you lose weight, but it gives you energy like you've never had before. It makes you more alert, more focused, gets rid of your anxiety. Uh, you don't have so much anger. It helps with my O. Well, yeah, I guess it helps with my OCD. I've never been diagnosed with that. I just fucking it annoys me when shit ain't done right. Um, I I really can't tell you. I mean, when I talk about this routine meal plan, just eating four eight ounce meals a day. Um. 
Everybody sounds a, say I sound like it's I'm nuts. Well, <sighs> if you found out a routine that you seriously think would help somebody if they did it from day one, lived to be two, three hundred years old. If you feel like you found a routine meal plan that you feel like you could, if, if somebody that had cancer was to do this routine meal plan, your body would actually get rid of the cancer because it just had too much crap in it before. But it didn't have enough crap in it often enough. Ironically, no, it's helped my anxiety so much. It's helped my depression. I like to say it helps my ADHD, but I feel like I'm going to be going back on that medicine after this month because I'm getting angry at the kids and stuff again. I mean, it's always something that could have been avoided. Something that, uh, you know, they know better. Then they do it anyway, like the oldest one. He picks on his brothers, hurts them, you know, calls them names. Well, I don't like that shit. I was bullied when I was little. And, you know, that's what it reminds me of is he's just a big bully, but... We're working on that. He's getting a lot better. Makes me sad. But the other ones, you know, one of them's real quiet and reserved. Oh, Ryder, he he loves this. He loves everybody. He's not very quiet or reserved, but he's also sick right now. So that's something you got to deal about with Ryder. And Tucker, he's the one that's quiet and reserved. And then Ace, and he's loud and won't shut the hell up. So... And then you got Jackson that likes to piss them both off. And you got Aeson that likes to piss Jackson off. You got Ryder that just wants to say hi and what's up and oh look at this rock. You know, that's pretty funny. I like that. You know, he's a cute one. I had to leave him yesterday at the carnival because the older ones were all fighting with each other. And You know, I'm just going, we paid like almost 250 bucks to go park and play at a carnival for five hours or something and it really makes it hard on your parents to want to take you out and do stuff like that when you're going to sit there and fight with each other call each other names and you know oh, he's picking on me he's a we'd rather just sit at home and sit out in the backyard and fucking but you know us parents i fucking that's why some of us drink is there's a lot of uh, regrets and anger that comes with uh, having kids. Fucking, I'd whoop their ass. I had a paddle and everything. I still got the paddle. Don't get me wrong. One of them fucks up good enough and one whoop their ass with that paddle. Because, you know, it used to be a belt. And a belt would really hurt. You know, I kind of feel like I don't really need that anymore. Because I can reason with my kids better. I mean, I've been getting better at that since, you know, the oldest one was young. And that's another reason why the youngest kid always gets treated the best is because the parents have had experience. They finally have experience. You think any parent's going to sit around and watch YouTube videos on how to raise a kid for eight hours a day like you guys watch how to fucking play Among Us for eight hours a day? No. This stuff don't come with instructions. There's nothing about this that's easy. You know, and a parent, whenever they lash out at their kid, that's a that's a temporary loss of uh, control. If you eat too much, but not enough, sounds crazy. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, I, I guarantee. I think I'm kind of crazy when I explain it and I listen to myself. Like, man, this motherfucker's nuts. Who the hell's going to listen to him? That's why I'm kind of getting so aggravated that nobody's replying or telling me, hey, good job at least, or, oh, you're fucking nuts. If I'm nuts, tell me I'm nuts, man. Fucking serious. If you don't want to try this, don't try it. But the only reason I'm, I don't want your fucking likes, your views. I mean, it'd be cool. It'd be cool to be famous and rich one day. But what I want is everybody to feel fucking 100% better. Everybody to feel fucking amazing. You know, instead of sitting there at the house and getting all aggravated and mad and stuff, why don't you go out and fucking go to the park? 
Go climb a goddamn mountain. A fucking mountain, guys. Climb a motherfucking mountain. Yeah, you don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. Shit. Most of our vacations are flyer miles. We use Capital One Venture Card. Everywhere you want to be. Hey, ow. It pays for at least $1,000 worth of our vacation every year. We pay that motherfucker off every month. That's what you do with a credit card. If it's a bank account number. Credit cards are by far better than your bank account. But credit cards have an interest rate. The only problem with that interest rate, if you don't pay them off every month, you lose lots of money. Because a lot of times that interest rate's almost 20%. They really fucking people. That's why I pay it off every month. And to fuck them back. 10,000 points is $100, I think. If you spend it on vacation and stuff. Which... I guarantee your kids want to go on vacation. I mean, how else are you going to come out? Climb a fucking mountain. Make snow angels. The snow is a little bit hard. It's really cold. Now I'm cold. How else are you going to come out and do this shit? If you don't find ways to scam the system. When I say scam the system, just take advantage of what they've already got. You know, and then I got apps like uh, Fetch. Uh, there's receipt ones that you scan receipts. Boy, you got to scan a lot of fucking receipts. It's almost not worth it. But you get so many points from them or receipts that, receipts that you scan. And they'll give you like a hundred bucks or something. But the flyer miles is what does the best. You got to have good credit. And I'll tell you what, since we got Venture Card, we have really, really good credit. So, everywhere you wanna be! Check this shit out. Hey, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for these ski lifts, I don't think skiing would be a thing. Especially with this new generation that only eats one or two meals a day. Enjoy life while it's here. Nobody has promised anything. Don't let things that bother you ruin it for you. Get out and enjoy yourself. If nothing else, just eat four meals a day at eight ounces per meal. I'm not fucking kidding you guys. You know, this is going on three different channels, or part of this video is going on three different channels. We got the average stoner, which that I hardly ever post anything on. There's a lot of red tape around smoking weed, so I don't really post on it that much. And then there is the routine meal plan, which after January, if I don't have people on board with this, I'm done with that routine meal plan shit. There's a lot of work into putting on these videos. With a lot of le little return. But I think it's something people need to know. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I might be going kind of nuts. So... Because... Nobody ever told me that when I was younger. Nobody ever raised me and said, Oh, son, everybody just eating wrong. That's why they're in a bad mood. That's why they're upset. That's why they're crying, depressed, all this shit. I really think that's what it is, guys. I think that's the reason the world it is. is. I mean, I'm not trying to hog anybody's fame here i'm not trying to steal anybody's idea i mean yeah there's people that weigh their food yeah there's people that eat more four meals a day but there isn't nobody telling everybody about it i mean shit you got vegans telling everybody about eating no meat no milk and they say it's bad for people to eat animals well it's bad for people to torture animals bad for people to torture anything with life in it 
It's bad for people not want to help those less fortunate than us. My feet are cold. My hands are cold. I'm around all this fresh powder. Look at that granite. I just picked that up, put it in the backyard. They got so much granite just laying around here. That's crazy how much they charge for it at the store. These people just pick it up out of the ground and throw it on the countertop. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll go granite countertops. Man, my toes are cold as fuck. Oh, Jesus. They weren't cold until I got up there and experienced the wonderful part of standing on top of that mountain I've been thinking about getting up on for the last two, two nights. Here, let's go over here. Oh, this is fresh powder. You know, if I had a snowsuit, I'd make a snowman up here just for the hell of it. Maybe it would become, maybe they'd call him Bob and Bob would just be cherished for all time and he'd live up here and one day some person would come around and put one of them hats on him that make him come to life and shit and Bob would come see me one day in his little refrigerated truck it just he'd all be like hey thank you for climbing up that mountain and getting stoned and making Miss Snowman. No, I'm just fucking with you. Whoa! That went down far. Ah. Yeah. My feet are definitely getting cold. I gotta change my shoes. I gotta get down off this fucking hill. But anyways, check it out, guys. I'm halfway down the hill now. It's a lot easier getting up than it is. A lot easier getting down than it is getting up. 100% facts on that. Okay. Here. I love you guys. Or, uh, I love my wife and kids. I love life as itself, but I don't really know most of you, so I ain't gonna say I love you. But anyways, peace. Thanks for watching my mountain rant and checking out the beauty of Colorado with me. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Check out the routine diet plan, please. I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm not asking for any money. If, if you lose weight on it, every pound you lose on it, if you're thankful you lost that pound, send me a dollar. Hit me up and I'll give you a YouTube uh, or a donations email. And, of course, Uncle Sam going to take a lot of it, but I don't really care. I'll do good things with that money. If I get enough of it, if I barely get any, I'm just going to buy stuff I want. <laughs> but if I get a lot of it, I, I don't know what I'd do. I'd, I'd do something with it. I'd do a pay it forward movement, probably. But anyways, peace, thanks, love, happiness. Uh, check it out. Come out and check out uh, Colorado sometime. I'm at Keystone, Colorado. Keystone Resorts. Uh, all that. Really beautiful. Got a good deal. I'm off season though, so I can't go skiing. But man, this is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. We've been here. Uh, this is one of our favorite vacation des destinations. And... 100% gonna move up here within the next five years, guaranteed. Or Montana. Or just somewhere with some mountains. Kinda of feel like an airplane's gonna fly down the hill. Kinda of freaking the fuck out right now. There's snow, let's slide. Ah. Okay. There's sticks. I don't want any sticks in my asshole. Oh shit! God damn it, the snow is coming out the poles. I thought it was gonna be an airplane.
It's just a... Check out the snow, man! I figured out a way to get down this mountain and record it. And do it a lot faster. It's snowing on me, man! That's some hard-ass snow, though. That's why. Let me get over here. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now I'm cold as fuck. That's kind of stupid. All right. Oh, shit. I gotta open my shirt. Fuck it, let's do it again. Oh, hell yeah. If I had a sled, I'd be fucking wonderland. We can get down this motherfucking hill one way or another. Holy shit. Fuck that. All right, let's come over here. Uh, woo. Oh shit. Oh. Fresh powder! <laughs> oh shit. Really? Really? Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That kind of hurt. So, um, check out Colorado. Weird way to end it, I guess. Sorry about that. Check out the routine meal plan, though. May just be a hippie with a pipe dream. But I really do think it's that important to eat four meals a day. Just make sure you weigh it. Or else you're gonna get fat. Personally, I think eight ounces is perfect. I really think I'm onto something, dude. Peace out, brother.